Hey you guys, it's Velocity Reaper here and we are back again talking about the Shamrock and Awe event in Call of Duty World War 2. Yesterday we focused in on the multiplayer side of things. You guys saw a bunch of really cool stuff over there, including the exclusive map right now for Season Pass holders. Definitely go check that out if you guys have not seen that video yet. But now we are focusing in on the zombie side of things. They have added in a couple of little cool Easter eggs for us to go find, and they all include a camo in each one of them. So the one on your screen right now is one of the camos, the one I, I thought was the coolest of the three. If you guys would like to see a tutorial for the other two, then let me know, and I will definitely go ahead and do that for you guys. But we are going to be focusing in on the Four Leaf Clover Easter egg in Graston House is the name of the map. Um, it is the tiniest map in the game, but before... Anything else, guys, I want to preface all of this by showing you guys where the 10 lamp locations are inside of Groston House because we will need to, you guys will need to know that for the later parts of these steps. So I'm going to go ahead and let this run and then I will catch up with you guys after that. All right, guys, so we are right in the spawn room of Groston House, and you want to go right over to your left, and you will see right next to the chair and table that there is a four-leaf clover. Now, that is the four-leaf clover that you are looking for, and when you see them, you're supposed to put your jolts on them. Obviously, you guys see me fail there. It was supposed to go on it, and it went on the stairs anyways. So moving on to the next location, it is upstairs past the box room that you guys saw that I walked into just a couple seconds ago, and you guys will see underneath the table that there is another four-leaf clover. There's going to be four on this map that you need to do with the jolts and as you guys can see that is the animation that you get to confirm that you have gotten that four leaf clover so i'm going to go back downstairs back to the spawn room and show you guys the animation again for the spawn room four leaf clover now moving on to the next one okay just making sure you guys know what that one is moving on to the next one you're going to go over to the kitchen area and right by the tables um, I thought it was right over here. It is not. It's a little bit closer. You guys will see a pile of books, and right by that pile of books, right at the top of it, there is a four-leaf clover for you to get that I will do right there. And as you guys can see, I will pause in those moments just so you guys can see it for yourself and, and take the second to notice where it actually is. And then I place my jolts and get the rainbow, and then that wraps up that one. So the last location is upstairs in our box room, guys. As soon as you walk in, right past the stairs, and it is going to be right in that doorway. So you're going to see me struggle there for a second. Again, the jolts are kind of weird that you can't really place them right on, but there you go. You see it right there, and you get the challenge, and that's it, guys. That's all you have to do. You can literally end the game, but there's one more thing that happens right before I leave the match here and that I did not expect a little leprechaun appears on my screen I guess that's a little part of their Easter egg thing that they did and when you kill it you don't get anything for it I don't believe you just kind of kill it and I know it's in multiplayer which I'll have to do another video about but you just get to kill it and then it just explodes with a bunch of gold and stuff like that they did a lot of really cool stuff in this one for us and I really appreciate that from their side but that is going to wrap up the video I hope you guys enjoyed make sure you leave a like sub up share around and I'll catch you guys in the next one peace